Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can build e-bike charger who can work with almost any e-bike or up to 83 volts. This is a quick look of parts we're gonna be using. Some random CPU power fan. Another fan that I scrap off somewhere. 3D printer fan. This two printable side. Small VGI heatsink, that's optional. A voltage meter, a temperature meter. Stands off that you can print or order if you want. And this uh, step up voltage controller, or you, if you want to call it voltage booster, capable of doing 20 or 30 amps, which costs staggering $15. And within this uh, printable case, there are remix from Thingverse in which we're gonna install all these components as well these small rubber feet that I designed make distance for the intake fan which is going to be underneath the unit alright let's build it just for the record I do order this stands off but in time of taking this video I still not receive it I don't know if it's lost in a way or something but uh, you can obviously order this uh, 30 millimeter stands off from eBay or somewhere maybe in a local store but I decided to print mine in ABS also this one side is gonna be also from ABS I will explain later why other than that everything else is from PLA the screws that I'm using it just uh, scrape off from some old power supply or computer case or something like that. I have a whole bunch of these screws so you can practically use whatever that you want. Just make sure that the diameter is not too large so you don't break this plate. And one more thing, all of these holes from the screws are made manually. So you have to drill it by yourself or you can take this thing from the Thingverse and just remix it uh, to your needs. Uh, I didn't have time to do the 3D uh, for all of these uh, small holes so for me it was just easier to drill it and you can drill it by yourself and customize to your needs. And these small heatsink are totally optional because it's a pretty nice airflow inside this case but I just want to put one just for precaution and that's why I take the smaller one. I'm gonna use uh, two screws for each fan but of course you can put all four if you want. That's totally optional, but at least two you have to have it.
I choose this uh, fan mostly used for 3D printers because it has the same connector that you can connect underneath this unit. So I'm just gonna cut this cable to make it fit. Now this whole step are totally uh, optional. So my goal here is that I wanna uh, use this small buck converter to controlling the voltage of the fan. So all of these fans are totally random, so I have no idea how much uh, those other fans will spin and how much loud it, it will be. So uh, you can easily just connect all of these fans to main uh, 12 volt and that is gonna work. But um, I will probably use this unit later on with much powerful power supply maybe more than 24 volts and that will be definitely fry all of these fans so i have to have some kind of control or voltage re regulator that i can lower the voltage from the fans and i can make it work with the random range of uh, power supply that i will definitely try this unit later on but of course, again, if you're just planning to use this uh, with a regular PC power supply, then you don't need this step. You can easily just connect, like I said, all of this fan to the main 12 volt power supply and you're going to be good to go. Now the goal of this um, temperature meter is that I want to see uh, the main coil uh, temperature so I don't put too much current into this device but obviously we're going to be covered pretty nice. So we have voltage meter, we have uh, temperature meter so it's going to be pretty nice. And of course here I'm using some random uh, silicon wires that I have uh, left from some other project. Here pay attention to the positive and negative side. Don't connect it wrong. You can easily fry this unit or potentially fry your power supply.
and this step is uh, totally optional of course if you don't planning to use some other types of power supply or if you don't planning to uh, look to your amps or uh, with a voltage meter or something you can easily just cut open all the wires from the PC power supply and just connect it directly to this unit but since I want to use this uh, with a voltage meter I want to see how many amps are going into this uh, boost converter This is just a quick look of the power supply that I'm using with this unit. And this is a rubber feet that I made uh, for this power supply just to get some uh, distance uh, from the table and help it just to run a little bit cooler. This is a mine e-bike connector for the battery. Your can be similar or different. And this is what meter that I'm going to be using. And now it's time to start the unit. I'm going to be using this uh, voltmeter or multimeter so I can see what's the condition and what kind of voltage I'm gonna get to the fans Since I want that this unit be uh, silent as possible, I will be lower this to around 8 or 9 volts, but you can try it yourself, your voltage can vary. Or if you skip this test uh, earlier, then you don't need, the, you just connect it directly to the 12 volts. All right, the unit is on, the fans are on. We get 57.1 volts. Of course, you can customize this uh, from 12 volts or your power supply volts, and you can go up to 83 volts. So pretty much you can use for uh, all different e-bikes batteries from 32 volts, 42 volts, 48 volts, 52 volts or, or up to again 83 volts so it's totally customizable you can use the screwdriver and lower the voltage to your needs for my battery, my battery is uh, 52 volts nominal or 58.8 uh, volts maximum it's a 14S uh, but uh, this is only for testing purposes uh, I recommend that you lower the voltage uh, if you have the same battery, try to use 57 volts or even less and you can save your cell's life pretty much substantially. Nice, we get 6 amps around with this power supply that I have. It's capable of doing, I believe, 40 amps input and with all these fans inside, that's not, that's not gonna be any problem to handle it. But uh, keep in mind, if you're using this unit, let's say with uh, 24 volts, uh, in the 4 amps, you can get double of amps. So practically means, if this power supply is 24 volts and cap capable of doing 4 amps, you're gonna be seeing here at least 12 or even 14 amps into this unit output. And if you wanna find out how much cost, 6 amp, or even 10 or 12 or even 14 amps that you can get from this unit then you google yourself and you and you're gonna be find that these chargers cost uh, a couple of hundred of dollars and one more thing to mention is uh, double check your BMS of your battery how much amp can take 
my BMS uh, it's around uh, 60 amp continuously so I can pretty much charge uh, around 20 amps without any problems so double check the, the, the specs of your BMS so you don't uh, overheat your BMS or even potentially damage your battery but I believe almost all the batteries can take five or six amps without the problems but there is a small uh, there is a small screw from amps that you can lower or higher the amps so you can pretty much customize to all your needs double check all the wires everything that uh, maybe potentially get hot or warm it depends what kind of power supply or wires are you using I recommend that you using some thicker wires if you don't have thick wires maybe use two of those wires or even three of those wires make sure that input wires can handle the the input amps that you're gonna be putting into this unit so double check everything how hot the unit is and how hot the cable are so uh, you can put you can maybe lower the amps to to handle the heat for me everything is cool everything is nice so I, I can put 6 amp all day long and not, nothing will happen I get pretty stable temperature uh, to the whole uh, charging process so I'm pretty happy with this unit and of course if you have only one e-bike and uh, you pretty much set your needs or your amps and your voltage you can pretty much screw this unit down and it, then it's over Looks like my small fan underneath the unit is a little bit louder, but I will probably use some kind of oil to lubricate or I'm gonna just replace the fan. And a little bit oil and it's good like new. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking my video. I hope that you like it, that you find it useful. How you're gonna make some uh, pretty awesome cheap e-bike charger. If you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Until next time, take care and bye bye.